Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video we are going to talk about the combo box uh, component uh, in uh, Windows Form. So let's get started. So you guys can find this over here. Let's go to combo box. Okay. So, so this is used to kind of create a selection. So let's just drag over here. I'm just going to go here. I'm going to copy and paste this. So you're gonna have two of those, okay? Uh, let's run to have a preview of the actual program. As you can see, we have nothing here that's expected because we need to add something here, okay? So what we can what we can do is to add some items here. So the, the thing with combo boxes is that if you double click it, let's just double click. We have this acted as a method called this method called selected index changed okay i just spoke a little bit of portuguese there uh, sorry guys so we have this selected index changed so this is called whenever the the selection is changed okay uh but we need items to this so we need to add some items so basically we need to go to this form load here let's add some items i could easily uh, create a string array and add those with a for each loop, but just let's just use a for loop, okay? And add numbers, okay? So let's write a for loop for and i equals zero, i is less than ten, ten and i plus plus. So I have this for loop. What we're gonna do now is to add those items into those two combo boxes so let's call the first one this dot combo box one dot uh, items dot add so we can add items okay so this is a in collection we need to convert this i to a string so i i dot to a string okay uh, let's copy this because we're gonna do this for both of those combo boxes let's copy and paste and change this to two so now we have what we wanted so if you execute now we should see that we have those options here you guys can see okay so if you guys need to do a selection i would recommend you to create a string array and do the work there okay uh we could that's lots of things we could do here uh we could do what we could do is to create a button let's add a button yeah uh over here let's uh minimize this a little bit just a little bit let's add a okay here i uh, let me come back uh properties where you should okay let's keep pop okay it's it's, it's back let's let's add okay let's Double click it so we have the OK, OK option. So when I click OK, I want to show which number is selected. So this this option, which option is selected. So I could do um, int number or string, actually, string number equals uh, this dot combo box, combo, combo box one dot select selected selected item i think oh let me see selected item okay dot two string okay uh and let's call a message let's call a message box dot show number just to give you a hint about what we're gonna what you are what we're gonna do so basically when i select a number let's say five and I click OK. I'm gonna grab that string with the method it's got, that you guys saw. Okay, so this can be used to kind of select a desired option. If you guys have a um, list of items or options to choose from. Okay, uh, we didn't do anything for the second one. You guys can try on your own. On your own, uh, you could do a calculator. Uh, for instance, let's do that. Let's do that actually. Uh, let's multiply those two numbers. So 
uh, we need to come back here. We need to add a selected index. Let me see if we if we find that selected index. Okay, we need to initialize those and in here. Okay, we need to do this dot combo box one dot selected index equals zero. We need to do that for the second one. So what we do, what this will do is basically let me come back here. This will just um, select the first item by default. So it will show zero uh, at the beginning. You guys can see here. Okay. So I can choose two numbers. Now, because I can select two numbers, I can basically multiply them or do some stuff with them. Let's convert this to an int. Okay. Let's do casting here. When I cast this to a uh, let me see guys if it is okay here. Uh, number number two. I don't think we can do this. I am not, I'm not sure we can do this. I need, I need to lock it up. Selected item to a string. Okay. It would not definitely work. Yeah. We need to do uh, into int dot convert. Okay. Uh, actually int dot dot parse or try parse parse this will work i think should work though uh, i don't know uh let's try again let's see if it's gonna work let's see if it's gonna work it should work uh, okay let's do message let's show uh number times number two this would this would work. Um, okay, we need to do the operation. Int result equals numbers number times number two. Uh, and then we're going to call result dot to string. Okay. Okay. We're done. So let's run this. Uh, let's select three and four. Okay, 12. Okay, let's select five and seven. Okay, 35. Okay, there we go. So, you guys can see it's very interesting to work with this kind of things in Visual C Sharp and Windows Form. So, thank you guys again for watching this. We'll see you guys next time.